Hi. In this video, we will have a look at Microsoft Power Pages. So this is the Microsoft Power Platform Community Forum thread. What we are looking here is user is asking inserting a table into multi-step form. So expects two file upload buttons in a form to upload certificate and resume. What I thought is this is an interesting question and we can sort this in a different way not you know using the multi-step form I thought I will sh I will show you how to resolve using a simple HTML file and utilizing Power Automate okay so for that first I created a page called file upload then the first thing I did then is I went to the page settings added the permissions the who I want to choose to see this page so here in my case I chose authenticated users then what I did is I click on uh, edit edit code that will take you to visual studio code sometimes it's authenticate as the authentication same as you know the authentication of who you logged on here as so you need to give that those credentials then you will end up having this screen here okay then here I got a simple HTML file which I built okay so this is a HTML file with two buttons and submit also I put some annotations like at least one certificate is mandatory things like that okay what I'm going to do is I will put a link of my source code so that you can download it right the next thing is the main the core thing is the JavaScript here so here for the javascript my plan is i'm going to execute using the flow so that i can call the flow link uh, the trigger the http you know the trigger the link i can uh, pass it and that's what you can see here i'll show you how to obtain all this uh, then uh, you know passing the payload what it is and then finally you know pushing that into uh, using uh, push into the power automate platform uh, then end up the file is going to create under the SharePoint. That's a plan. Okay. Right. So you can see the page is created. Then the HTML file is containing these three, uh, you know, buttons and um, that's basically it is. Yeah. Right. The next thing is you need to click on the setup and click on cloud flows okay first you need to click here create new flow so this will op open up a new dialog box here okay and then you need to select power pages select that then when power pages calls a flow that's the trigger you need to use and I already built this flow, so I'll show you that. So once you build that, it will. Once you save, uh, once you, uh, you know, built this flow, that basically, you know, that's my trigger. Then I got a couple of parameters which I need to pass the file name and the. There are two file names here. So one is a certificate file name, resume file name. Then the content of the, you know, the certificate and the content of the resume. Yeah. So I got four parameters. Plus, I'm passing the user ID also, who uploaded it, who the logged on user here is. In my, in my case, it's me here. See that? Yeah. So, that those are the parameters I defined. See, it's all plain text um, uh, type it is. So, if you click on add input, click on the select, that's why I did it, all these. Okay. The next thing is ignore this combos. That's for my own benefit it is. I added here, yeah, just for the debugging purpose. Ignore that combos, yeah. Then create file, then using the file name and the file content, which is the blob. I'll show you in a minute how we pass the blob here, the file content. So certificate content and the resume content. But that we need to convert to base64. Let's remember that, okay? So basically what I need is you need to go to the expression and type base64 to binary. Then place your cursor inside that. Click on the dynamic. Then go all the way down all the way here to select the certificate um, content and click OK that that's what that is same for the resume file and the content okay so that's basically the flow is once you save this 
uh, you know it will be here and then uh, you need to add the roles so remember to add the roles also so for that you need to select here and to click on edit then add the roles here it is click on add roles and also you need to save the flow okay there is something I found what I found out is if you change this interface here these parameters here and then if you save the flow and then try to run the you know the flow through the power pages you are going to get a payload error okay so to overcome that payload error you need to again select here click on edit and save that flow again so it's quite important here okay so remember to click edit and then make sure you should save here i think behind the scene it does something i think okay so that's a flow i built then okay let's go back again show the flow again that's create file step it's nothing you know special file name and the base uh, 64 to binary you can do the same for the dataverse one file uh, file creation i got another video um, in my video in my channel how to create the files in dataverse okay or you can create this in onedrive wherever you know you want okay now um going back to my uh, cloud the make power pages uh, site so once you've done that you know i said you need to save it make sure you click on edit and save it you know once a save once a um, flow is done make sure you put all the indicated users and all then copy this link this link is important okay once we have the link you need to go back to our code here i'll explain the code what i did so this is when the document is ready what I am doing here is I set up a init file upload function and then I got the input for the certificate input and the resume input then I got the submit button which I got a click event called submit files then I have got I am handling because there are two files I don't want to replicate the code so I got a common function called handle single file uh, change you know and then um, it uh, once it added you know it adds into that uh, what file is being um, uploaded and all with this you know that's what the file item it is you know see that and that adds to the file list item also so those all okay and then um, you got the uh, validating the files also if the file is uh, you know the, um, the error is they show the ways don't show it things like that yeah the core thing here is a submit file okay once the validation is done so here I'm using the liquid code to get the current logged on user ID. Then that's a link I copied from the make.power page. I'll show you again here under the setup cloud flows. Once the flow is done, you need to come here and copy this link. And that's the one you need to copy it here. Okay. Then I'm what I'm doing is I'm getting the file. Once the file is uploaded, it contains the file name, file type, and the content. What I'm interested here is the content only. So I need to convert that into get file base 64 function, which I wrote here. Here it is. See that? So that will convert that nicely. And then using those two values, I'm passing that in, into my data structure. Then yeah, that's data. See that? Certificate file, resume file name, portal user ID, certificate content, resume content. So if I take you back to my flow, that's my interface here. See? Certificate file name. It should be exactly the same names. See? Resume file name, portal user ID, certificate content, and resume content. Here it is. Yeah, that's my data. Okay. Then I that's my payload. Then converting into JSON stringify the data. That is this. Then finally, shell.ajax save post. That's what you need to you know execute that um, uh, this endpoint, which is our power automate endpoint here, passing those values as the payload, and that's what this code is going to be. Make sure you need to put process data is false and global equals false. I believe the process data false is means once you set up the data, it doesn't stringify it again, I think. Otherwise, I think the Ajax, it does something with that uh, data encoding, I think. So make sure, you know, process data should be false and also the global one should be false. Okay. There are documentation out there. What is this means, you know? And then, uh, you know, finally, um, just put an alert, uh, you know, just to show that file uploaded successfully. You can make sure you can inject this into a label and show that also, you know, so you can change it accordingly, whatever you want. 
and then if it fails again you know i'm logging the error and uh, that's it that basically the javascript is like i said i'm going to upload this you know in, in my github you can download from there and uh, make sure you need to copy your url here okay and also you need to change uh, according to your requir requirement the data also here uh, that is uh, this part of the code here you know i'm constructing the data this is my parameters one two three four five these are my five parameters and these are the five parameters for my flow also one two three four five so depends the requirement okay right okay so once it's done then what you need is you need to press ctrl s and as you can see it's saving and once it's saved then you go back to go here click on that page you know you get that uh, you, you you can go back to the page which we created file upload that page and then once that page is rendered then click on the sync also so it's just make sure you know the code is getting synced so click on the sync once the sync is done um, then you need to uh, click on the preview and you end up having this page then so i'll show you how to upload the file then so i'm going to click the file uh, upload certificate okay it doesn't matter what file it is i'm just using an xml file here and um, upload uh, as you may i'm just go i'm going to put um, okay this file here there we go those two files and submit so hopefully what that should do is it should submit here we go that's the alert i got okay that if i go back to my sharepoint refresh this library this is where i'm creating it you can see that under my test doc lib that's my library i used right here we go there are two files there don't you that's the one i just created a few seconds ago if i click on the xml file i should be able to see that here it is see that so you know that's the way you know you can customize the power pages um, and also um, you know uh, utilizing the power platform as well within power pages uh, it's quite powerful this feature is because you don't need too much worry about the security uh, side because it's all handled internally uh, within within that platform so if i take you back to my setup and cloud flows here uh, you know all we did is once we constructed you just need to copy this link and here you specify the uh, you know the role also who can execute this you know so it's quite good in that aspect you know and then uh, you know make sure you need to uh, you know specify that url under the javascript the ajax one uh, where we are going to execute the shell.ajax I post here and that's the URL as a post and then I constructed my data like I said earlier and then you know processing that hope this is useful thank you for watching